Alright guys, I'm back with my buddy Cosmo, and we came across an interesting problem where we were trying to load this crate onto uh, this trailer here, so we can drive it off of this 18-wheeler. And uh, unfortunately, the only solution I thought of was to build a tower crane. Tower so, crane! Yeah, so we're gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go show you how it works here, and Cosmo's gonna help me direct it, because, you know, it's kind of hard to see from up there. So let's, uh, let's get going. Now, the tower crane... Comes with an elevator, which is quite nice. And uh, it's just using wheels. This is actually Cosmo's elevator design. So I have to give him credit for that one. He, uh, he clued in that if you use wheels with suspension around a pipe, you can actually make an elevator. And it works quite well, but unfortunately it takes forever. So uh, we're going to speed this up a bit. <laughs> So, as you approach the uh, top of the tower crane here, you'll notice that there are these yellow caution blocks. These are actually to lock the wheels in place. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you kind of can. But the elevator falls at a very, 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 very painfully slow rate, but it still will fall eventually. So you just kind of lock it in place with those little swing bars. They just kind of swing in with this controller here. Pretty simple stuff. So this isn't really a traditional tower crane in the sense that the cab kind of rolls along the track. Um, I thought about doing it with motors and a bunch of other various ways, but the reality is that the physics engine just doesn't really want to handle the chain very well. Um, and so when you have the chain with a, uh, a uh, sort of over a series of pulleys, it doesn't really work out. Anyways, the, uh, the crane basically moves with jet engines. Um, because the cab is detached from the body, you can't actually use the bearing that's in the center to rotate it. But you can use these jet engines, and you just kind of, as you drive the engines, it'll move. And then the throttle is hooked up to the chain, so if you hold W and S on the chain, it'll move the chain up and down. Um, there's two switches. So the four buttons you'll see here, they control the jet engines. Uh, one fires it out, three fires it back, two forward, and five backwards. Um, so you can really just kind of blow around. Sometimes it gets stuck, but that's okay. And then uh, when all that's said and done, you have the uh, the functions for the claw, which is sometimes glitches out, but four closes and opens the claw, and six will rotate the claw. You can set the angle of rotation after if you get out on a controller, but basically, yeah, that's that's all you need to know. And uh, the tower crane works quite well. It uh, seems to be able to pick up stuff pretty easily. And uh, it's pretty good, so uh, I'm going to get my buddy Cosmo here to help me direct this stuff. I'm just going to line up on top of this, and uh, Cosmo, where are you at, fool? Hello, friend. Hello. I want counterweight. Wh How? What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the aliens dropped me off. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. shit. Oh, that's good. Go. No, you can help me direct. That's fantastic. Excellent. Alright. Alright, am I over top? Am I below? Where, where am I at? You are over top. You just need to rotate... The claw. Oh, oh, too far. Oh, there you go. That's good. Okay. Lower. Lower? Yep. Alright, lower it. And stop. Okay. Uh, I would do it actually like a, a bit more. Do it a bit more. Just right, I need to swing over. I'm, I'm out of position here. A bit more? That's good. Lower? That's good. Uh, slightly lower. Lower. Alright. That's good. That's good. Uh, I would swing back. A, there we go. Clamp. Clamp? Yep. Give him the clamp. Oh, oh, that didn't work. Oh, totally missed. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Clamped it, but... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back, go back. You're good, actually. You're good. You're, yeah, you're solid, All right. man. Clamp, clamp. Excellent. Oh, beautiful. All right, we're going up. Load her up. Just gonna winch this sucker in. That looks beautiful. All right, hopefully we have the reach here to get on top of this truck. Am I, am I gonna clear the trailer? Do I got... Oh, you're way above the trailer. All right. Okay, keep going. Yeah, I gotta. Uh oh, I gotta get out further here on the arm to get more leverage. Gotcha. Uh, she's dipping a little bit, but you know what? It's oh, there actually... we go. There we go. There we go. You're above it. Okay. Okay. I need to rotate the claw like yes, 45 sir. degrees. So I'm gonna get out here, get this top controller, set it to 45. 
And now when I activate the claw rotation, oh, look at that. It's already set. That's look at mint. That's, that's mint. so good. Okay, and then a little bit forward. All right, now let me know yep. when the chain touches the trailer. Sounds good. All right, we're going to lower. And stop. Whoa, the lag got real. A <laughs> little bit of a uh, body collision there. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, you're uh, you're up a bit too high over it now. No, that's good. I, I'm going to release okay. it a little bit higher and hopefully gotcha. not, not get the kind of body lag. Okay. You're about, uh, I'd say, a meter above the trailer. It's a pretty big drop. <laughs> hey, you did it, though. Dude, that worked. Trailer, it's man. still getting some serious serious body collision lag. So let's just move the crane out of the way here. All right. I'm you know what? I'm not I'm not going to take When you're on the end of that, the counterweight actually tilts up. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like kind of but <laughs> if I'm too close, it goes the other way. So I'm just going to take the uh, elevator back down and uh but I'm gonna, I'm going to spare you guys all the trouble of that. I'm I'm down and back her up. All right, guys, I got back to the bottom here. The uh, lag seems to have disappeared, which is good. So, I think the uh, the container has settled, and the physics have stopped being calculated. Uh, so we're gonna get Cosmo here to load up the trailer. You gotta back this into. This is Cosmo. Cosmo Trucking Services. You gotta back hey, into bro, that, I buddy. I think trailer is too low. I think trailer is. Yep. I got yeah. a good uh, good angle here. Yeah, just come straight back, pretty much, and you'll be good. You gotta give it some throttle, though. Yeah, there you go. You're in. There you go. It's it's got like a self. Like there's slopes kind of pushing in. Keep going all the way back. You're not you're not fully latched on yet. Yep. I'm just trying to be you know gentle with her. Yeah. Gentle with her load. All right. There hit we the, go. Hit the hotkey there. The one hotkey. Yeah. Lock her Done. in. Done. Done. Locked. Good. I'm gonna pull up the thing. Beauty. All right. And uh, now we're gonna drive off into the sunset at you know Wicked. a good solid 15 frames per second. Jeepus. Okay. So we've repositioned the box for. I don't know how many times now. It's been a bunch. <laughs> Not and, counting anymore. No, and it seems the collision between three objects at the same time, between the truck, the trailer, the trailer, and the box, is causing lag. But we think this time we'll get it. It's good. Frame rate's holding. All right, excellent. Okay, you can lock. Fantastic. Lock. I'm going to drop the legs. Fantastic. All right. There you go. Good to go. Good to go. All right, we're driving off into the sunset. Fantastic. <laughs> we're going to go a little bit slow here. Well, guys, we finally figured it out. Seem to be some issues with the physics currently, uh, mainly <laughs> when you use suspension and multiple objects or chains and other things. But, you know, we'll figure it out. Game is very early access. But uh, if you guys like this, then uh, be sure to subscribe because I'll be doing a lot more cool videos. And, uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Peace.